Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be a very short and small Target haul. I did go yesterday. I picked up a few items so I thought I would share with you guys. And if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I love Target. It's one of my favorite stores and I probably go way too often but I'm obsessed. So anyways, let's just jump right into my haul. Two of these items that I'm going to share with you I actually already opened yesterday because I'm very impatient and I want to try them out. First item is the one I'm most excited about and it is this Revlon Salon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer. This thing is amazing you guys. I've been wanting to buy this for a while but I didn't want to spend $60 because I already have two straightener irons. I have a blow dryer and I have a curling wand. I just kept on thinking do I really need another heating tool but I decided to finally give in and I'm so glad that I purchased this. Actually, Joanna, my friend Joanna, most of you guys know her as Joanna L. Newman. She purchased this and she really loved it and said it worked really well on her hair. We both have kind of similar hair, so I decided to try it out and I'm so glad I did. And I used it last night and this is how my hair turned out. I really love the way it looks. It gave it a lot of volume. The only thing is I did have to touch up a little bit like my baby hairs, but those are really hard to tame. So other than that, I really love it. It works really well and it cut my blow dry time in half, which is always a bonus because I have two kids and I rarely ever have time to do my hair. So anything that's gonna save me time, I'm gonna love. So this is definitely something that I'm so glad I bought. Like I said, it was $60. I bought it from Target and it's definitely worth your money. If you guys are looking for a new blow dryer or heating tool, I would definitely try this out. Next item I'm gonna share with you guys is an eyeshadow palette and it is by e.l.f. And I love it. I've only used it once, but so far I'm really, really liking it. These are the colors that are in the palette. This was $10. And I like it. They're all matte shades, which I like because for everyday use, I don't like to use like really shimmery or glittery eyeshadows. I like it to be just a matte nice neutral color so it has a lot of nice neutral colors and then it also has like a deeper tones once you get to the end so you can do like a smoky look if you're going out and if you're just doing it for everyday use you can use like the lighter colors these are really really smooth and buttery i like the way they apply they're not like really powdery or have fallouts i used the first three colors and they all worked really really well so if you guys are looking for a new eyeshadow palette, I would suggest this one. This one's really, really good. They had other um, colors, palettes, but this is the one that I went for just because it had more of the natural colors in it. Next is going to be another item by e.l.f. and it is their highlighting shimmer powder. They had it in two different colors and I was torn between which one I should get. I ended up getting the Starlight Glow. I have not opened it yet, so let's swatch it and see how it works. This is another one that I've seen a lot of people talk about that it's a good affordable drugstore highlighter. So I decided to purchase it and try it out myself. I can even get it out of the packaging. Okay guys, I can never get things out of packaging. Look at this, I'm like ripping it apart. Okay, so let's swatch it. What is up with these new e.l.f. packaging? Like I cannot open it. Like, the eyeshadow one was really hard to open and now this one is really hard to open too. Okay, I got it. Okay, so this is how it looks. It comes with a mirror on top, and that is how it looks. It's like a very light, golden, shimmery color. It kind of looks like the ColourPop um, when Jaclyn Hill came out with hers. It kind of looks like that color. That is how it looks. So I'm going to swatch it really fast. That's how it looks swatched on my finger. So it seems to be a really nice color. That's how it looks on the back of my hand. So it's very pigmented. So I'm excited to try it out, see how it works. I might buy the other one. The other one was a more like a deeper golden color. So I might try that one out too if I like the way this one turns out. Okay, the next item I bought from Target is these Kiss Nails. I decided to do these a few months back or maybe like a month or two back around the holidays and I really liked the way they worked. I used to use these a lot when I was younger and I guess now it's in again and they work really well. I wore them for my sister's baby shower and everyone thought that I got my nails professionally done so they lasted a long time too. They lasted me like almost two weeks so I decided to get this one. It's in the medium length. I would have preferred the short length but they didn't have it in the short length so I just got the medium one and this is how it looks. You can barely tell the color because my 
lighting really sucks but it's kind of like a champagne color and then the tips is like glitter so i'm gonna try these out next items is going to be shampoo and conditioners if you watch one of my previous vlogs i mentioned a new line in target it was the beauty and planet it's like all organic natural shampoo and conditioner i really want to try it out but i had just bought shampoo and conditioner and i didn't buy it this time around i decided to buy it because they had a deal if you bought three then you got a five dollar gift card so i bought the body wash and then i bought the shampoo and conditioner so technically one of these only cost me two dollars after i got that gift card i got mine in the rose scent and it smells so good i was torn between this rose scent and also the lavender scent i ended up going with rose it smells amazing you guys i haven't tried it out yet I'm going to try it out sometime this week and see how it works. If I really like the way it works, then I'm going to go back for the lavender one because that one smells really good as well. It's made with organic coconut oil. It has ethically sourced rose. It's safe for color-treated hair. It's vegan, plant-based cleanser. It's not tested on animals. No silicones, no parabens, no dyes, no guilt. So yeah, I'll try this out this week and then I'll let you guys know how I like it. I also bought it in the body wash because it smells amazing. Next is just going to be a detangler from Madison. I love this detangler by Honest. It is just their conditioning detangler in the scent Sweet Orange Vanilla. And then I also bought her some leggings. I bought her two pair of leggings. They were on clearance for $3.50. So I bought her this one and it has like a bunch of like glitter on it. I also have these in black for her. I really love them. And then I just bought her these purple ones and they were both $3.50 each. And then I bought this. I want to try it out. I bought the little travel size one because it was on clearance for $2.78. It's by Pacifica and it's coconut oil water-based makeup remover towelettes. They have it in the larger ones, but I thought before spending more money on the larger one, I'll just buy the small one and see if I like it. So I'll be testing that out. And then the last item I bought is by Revlon. It is a Revlon Kiss Plumping Lip Cream in the color 520 Fresh Petal. This looked interesting. I've never tried it out before. They had a bunch of different colors and I decided to go with like this pinkish color. I'll see how it works out. Okay guys, so that is going to end today's haul from Target. I hope you guys enjoyed my little mini haul from Target. If you did, give me a thumbs up and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and I will see you guys next time. Bye.